Right, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up duct station. So here we are, it's installing. Now one of the best things about this, it's free. And it's pretty easy to set up. I'm using a controller, but don't worry if you've not got a controller, you can use touchscreen controller. So that's installing. Before, while that's installing, another thing I use is file manager. So you can put all your, your BIOS, your games in folders. It's easy to do. Once you've done all, you just go to the three dot, create new, and then name your folders. So here, as you can see, I've got PS1 and PS1 BIOS because you need BIOS for this. I'll explain to you in a minute. So I've gone off that. So when it opens up Duckstation, first thing it's going to do is allow access ULI. I click on No there. Add game directory. The top three dots here. SD card. PS1 games. Allow access. Like you say, you don't have to put them on your SD card. You can put them on your storage of your phone or tablet. Right, while that's doing that, I'll just go back and I'll show you which BIOS you need. It's this one, it's scph1001.bin. It's easy to find on Google. Just Google it, PS1 BIOS. Like I said, put it in a folder, either on your tablet, phone, storage, or SD card. So we'll come out of there, we'll go back to Duck Station. It's still scanning my games. Right, it's scanning my games, and this is what it looks like. The next thing we're going to click on again, it's not going to start because of the BIOS. So press yeah, dots again, the top, SD card. We're looking for my folder though. Click on that. Okay, now we're ready to roll and to play the games. But there's a few more things we want to do. But like I said, I'll just click on how many games here? Let's click on this. Is actually one of my favorite. And you see on screen controller, but I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to click on the dots here, go to the top here, this wheel, which is settings. Now I'm going to set up the controller first. So it's the, it's the controller here. Right, I'm going to take off touchscreen controller, so no. Then I'm going to go to port 1. I've got my controller. The first thing I want to do, controller tap at the top. Change it to analog controller, dual shock. Now we're going to bound the controller, so it's up, down, left, right, select, start. Triangle, X, circle, square, L1, L2, L1, L2. I'm going to leave these L3 and L, don't really use these. Now this is one here, this confuses a lot of people, your analog. I've seen it loads on people on Google, they can't do it. All you have to do, press on that, your left analog, just press it left once. Then left Y, just press it down. Same with right. Press right once, right Y, down. That should be done. So your analog's set up as well. Now, hot keys. Open pause menu. I'm going to use the uh, L3 trigger. That just gets you into your options. Right. Now we're just going to go back to some of the settings. This, if you play a game and you decide to come off it, then a week later you go back, it will take you right back to where you are. If you don't want to do that, you just click off this. Alex, I'll show you anyway. Display, you don't have to really touch this. You can have them all about with it, but everything for me is found there. Same with audio. 
right, enhancements. Depending on your tablet, I'm on a Samsung Tab S6. You can mull about with this. I'll show you the difference in a minute. Let's go down to this one. Texture filtering. I have it on Barlinia. So it's up to you. you can, like I say, you can have a mull about there. This multi sample. I usually go for 2x. Like I said, just, you can tinker about with it. So we've done that. Right, let's start a game up. So we'll just go back. This should bash, it should start up. I don't know if anyone's played this game, it's a, it's a really good two player game. Me and my daughter, just brilliant. So that's it. I'm going to press the L3 trigger, that'll take me into that. Exit game. So we're going to pick another game here. Let's go with. I'll go with croc. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the resolution. So I'm going to go up here again to the settings. And I'm going to change the resolution scale to 3x720p. And then I'm going to go back, start the game up. Like I said, it depends on what tablet you've got, what Snapdragon. You will notice. Massive difference on the display. really crisp so as you can see the difference like you say you can mull about with some, sometimes it depends on your your tablet and phone, you might get some slowdown, so go back to the next. Like I'll just show you again. Click. Go back again, I'll just show you the difference. Go back to 1x. And as you can see, there's a massive difference in it. Like I said, I'll go back out again. Exit game. Now I'll go back to Bishy Bash, yeah? And it'll be bang where we was last time what there you, you can you can take that off it's up to you as you know it'll just just go to general and the save state on exit it's up to you if you want that but i leave it on so go back to that I'm going to put it back on this. Like I say, you can, you can even take it up high. If you lose, I'll take it to 1080. Some games are a bit slow. Like, like if I go back to, go back to Croc. Let's see if that runs. So a bit of stutter. So, I'm going to go back, I'm going to keep it at 3x, like I say, depending on your device, what you've got, but I think that's it, really, anything, 
like you say, you can have them all about with everything. It's up to you. You can always change it back if you're not happy with it. Like I said, our feet just exit game. Just got loads of games. But that's it. Anyway, if you're struggling with anything, just put it in the comments. I'll get straight back to you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe if you want to see future videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.